Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again, and welcome to another cool After Effects tutorial. Uh, you know, before getting into today's video, I do want to thank my Patreons who have subscribed to my Patreon page. So you will support me as well and get some pretty cool, awesome project files as well. So if you want to go there, just uh, check my Patreon page. You can just click here and subscribe and join my channel. And people who have subscribed to my channel my YouTube channel, all right? So let's get into today's video. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at creating a phone world, or that's what I call it. So uh, let's take a look at a little preview here. So I'm just gonna go with 75 or 100%. So we made this all using Element 3D. So uh, we have some, we have a car that is moving, some buildings, and we cut to the next shot where we have the plane sort of flying past the camera which looks pretty cool and some camera shake and some planes and these elements are added in posts so I mean not in posts just in After Effects just like a sequence of you know birds moving and some clouds and this is like the overall image so yeah let's get started so I'm gonna go into After Effects create a new composition we're gonna be using element 3d for this right so we're gonna go with a phone world hit ok and control y or go to layer new solid and i'm just going to call this element and i'm going to go into effect video copilot element and we do need a phone model that i will put the link in the description uh, or you can just go into any website any 3d model website and you can just download it from there but we do have it so I'm just going to put the link in the description so that you can download it as well. So I'm just going to click on import. And I have it here. So I'm just going to bring in the Cinema 4D file. So just double click here. OK. And we have it. So the first thing, I'm just going to rotate it like this, 90 degrees. And we'll just add some materials to it. So I'm just going to go to presets, physical, and add a glass material to the glass. And just to spice it up a little bit, I'm just going to add a paint red material onto the cover. So that looks pretty good. And the next video copilot product that we're going to be using is, a, it's called Metropolitan. They're like, they got some buildings and stuff. So we have the Metropolitan and then we have the Metropolitan no antennas. So that's what we're going to use because, you know, no antennas means less detail and faster render times. And we have some city layouts here. So I'm just going to go and click on layout number three and number two. All right. Make sure you get the day version or the night version as you wish. But in this case, we're using the day version. I'm just going to pick a lighting model from here just to, you know, sort of see it better. And I'm just going to hit R and scale this down. And maybe we'll just move it up here. So we got it right here and just move it like this I'm just gonna scale this down just to fit in with in, inside the phone and just move it here just like that alright and the next thing we're gonna do is uh, select this one as well and just sort of roughly match it so let's see what is the scale of this it's like 47.7 so go with uh, 47.7 and just move it here and move it up a little bit. So hit Z on this and move it up so that we see the sort of plane here. Make sure they are like level and move it like this. So you see that this part of the screen is actually left empty. So what I'm going to do is just hit R and scale it on the Z a little bit and move it here. So probably scale them up a little bit, maybe like 49 and take this one as well and scale it to 49 and now we can just move it in so yeah just like that all right and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hold down shift and select both of them and hit R and scale them so that they match sort of the, that shape of that so they don't stick out and that's I think okay so for now I'm just gonna hit uh, okay for this and let's set up some of the things here so um, yeah I will create a new camera so go to layer new camera uh, probably like 24 millimeters hit C for the camera tool 
So you can see now it's pretty dark because we don't have any lights here and we don't have a background. So I'm just going to go right click new solid, same color and just put it at the back. And you can see it looks pretty flat. So I'm just going to go to element layer, go to render settings, lighting. I'm just going to pick the cinema lighting and play around with the rotation. And I'm also going to create a new After Effects light. So layer new light parallel. Make sure it casts shadows and hit OK. Hit P on this so that we see the position and just move it to that direction that you want it. So I'm just going to go to this direction. And this is very important for casting shadows, but we don't have any surface to cast shadows on. So if I go back to the scene setup, I can add like a little plane here. So just create a plane, hit R and scale it up and give it like a simple color like gray and move it down so that it doesn't sort of crop the phone itself. Just like, you know, just like that and hit OK. So now uh, we don't have any shadows, right? But if you do want to have shadows, you get to go into render settings and shadow and I'm just going to enable shadow. So now we do have our shadow here. But then the problem is we don't want to see this plane. So what I'm going to do is go to the scene setup. There is a very cool material called matte shadow. So I'm just going to apply it here. So what it does, it, it, you can use it as a cutoff object as well, sort of cut the model. But in this case, we'll use it to sort of remove the plane itself but only leave the shadows right and you can control the shadows positioning and all by controlling the position of li the light and just like that I'm just gonna set this to half so yep and the next thing I'm gonna do is you can go and play around with the shadow settings so element and make it a bit blurry but then if you make it too much blurry, you'll see these edges around. So I'm just going to increase the map size. So that'll be fine. And the other thing we're going to do is if I go back to full mode is I'm going to go into ambient occlusion, turn it on and make it like what? Three. But then if you see too much of an ambient occlusion on the plane, so in order to fix it, you're going to go to scene setup and every object in the material has this setting called AO amount. So how much it'll be influenced by the ambient occlusion. So the rest of the objects will be one and we can decrease this to like 0.3. So this will take like almost three times less ambient occlusion than the rest of the objects. So you really have to crank it up in order to see it on the plane. So you see the difference is quite visible. So I'm just going to set it to like what, four? and increase the radius and you can also increase the quality if you have noise and stuff so yeah I can go and get some really cool camera shots so you know some cinematic shots here and you can also enable like the fog so if I go into fog enable it click on the background color and you can increase the opacity so the far it is from the background the more fog you're gonna have and it'll make it more natural but we do want it to be very subtle so just like that and in this example we also have like planes and a car so I just added like a car model to one of the streets and I just positioned it which I'm going to show you with this plane so adding a plane and a car is just like the same so uh, I'm going to go into After Effects go back inside my Element 3D layer and I have the video copilot jet strike pack so I'm just gonna add the Air Force One model and just move it up and you can see it's pretty big so I'm just gonna scale this down to sort of match the size of the buildings and we do want to animate this moving from here to like here right so the same way you would you would add a car and animate it so uh, you need to put it on a separate group so I'm just gonna drag it out here go to group 2 okay so now we have our model here. So I'm just going to go to like a position where I can see it. Just like that. Or maybe like this. Right. So I'm going to go into group two and go to particle replicator and, in, you know, move the Z position. So I'm just going to keyframe this. 
going from here, uh, sorry, hit U, move the keyframe to the beginning until two seconds we want this to sort of be like this. And the cool thing about it is it's casting shadow on the buildings, which is really making it, you know, seem very realistic. So you see this building here? The plane is actually casting a shadow. So it's actually really nice here. And yeah, so you can change the lighting. Maybe we don't want it to be in that position. Maybe you want it to be from this side and move it up just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, maybe we want to increase the, if I go into the output option, maybe we want to increase the reflection. So multi-pass mixer, reflection maybe three times as much. And yeah, we got the reflection. And now it's just all up to you to go ahead and find your best camera angles and sort of, you know, go down onto this, you know, just like, you know, fly in and out. It looks pretty good, you know. Just add some camera shots and some camera movements and you will be good to go. And I do want to see that I don't miss anything else. Shadow is there. And the clouds are just like some PNG images made 3D and added to the shot. And these are some like light leaks that I added in Premiere and also enabled like motion blur. So every camera movement that you do you want to go ahead and enable motion blur for the effect so it'll have motion blur and that is pretty much it right so yeah it's a very simple effect yet very cool and you know good looking so you can add like everything you want you can add like trees you can add like mountains and you know everything that you can think of and yeah, this is basically the today's tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And, uh, you know, if you want to support me and my channel, make sure to subscribe and also support me on my Patreon page if you want to. And yeah, this was the today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, enjoy working.